Welcome to the series. This is where we perform hands-on exercises using Google Gemini Pro, Gemini Pro Vision, and Python. In this video, we will use Gemini Pro Vision API and Python to build a chatbot that will let us have a conversation with the Gemini model using any image. We will do the following. Configure and create the model object. Load up any image with Python image library, create a chat loop with exit clauses, and display the ongoing conversation in a question and answer format. Let's get started. All right, so let's get started coding. First, we install the necessary library, which is Google Generative AI. All right, now that that's done, let's set up the API key. We import GAI object from Google Generative AI library, and then configure it with the API key. And here I just threw in a loop in there so that once we run it, we get to see what models we have available. And in this video, we're gonna be using this one, Gemini Pro Vision. That said, let's work on the image-based chatbot broken into two different blocks. One is loading the image, the other one is the actual chatbot. So let's start here, loading the image. Okay, so I'm importing OS from Python library and the PIL, which is Python image library. I'm bringing in the image object. And here we're gonna select the image path from the user and then have some error handling code in case the image is missing and then load the image up and display. And in here, I've already brought in, uploaded some images. So let's get started here. Okay, so I am using an input enter image path so that user can just put in the uh, image info here. And then this is the error handling code in case in the image path, the image is missing using os.path.is file. Then we're gonna raise this error message invalid system path exiting. If not, then we just load up that image and show it. So let's try it. And in this case, we're gonna load up this image, a fridge, and hit enter. And boom, the fridge image loads up. And this is the one we're going to use with our next step where we create the bot. Let's get started here. In this one, we will first initiate the model and then create an infinite loop for our chatbot. Let's get started here. Okay, so let's run this one. No errors. We're using the AI object that we created here, right? And then creating the model using it with AI dot generative model and we're passing Gemini provision. Now our model is ready. Now let's create the, the loop. Okay, so we get started with a while true loop, which is an infinite loop. We immediately ask the user to insert a prompt. And here we insert the exit clause. If the prompt is not exit, quit, or buy, plus we use prompt.lower. So in case user uses the uppercase, we convert that to compare. If it is not exit, quit, or buy, we keep going. With the loop, we just invoke model.generateContent and we pass our prompt that we collected here and the image that we collected here, this image. And then based on this invocation, we print this response.text. And here we just that, you know, use a separator with, by printing the equal sign 100 times. But just in case the user says exit, quit, or buy, we just break out of this loop, else clause gets invoked, we print exiting, and this is where we use this time that we brought in, time.sleep for two seconds, and then print see ya and break out. That being done, let's run it. Okay, so... Our first question would be, what do you see? Now remember, this is our image. We hit enter. Now it's generating the answer with the prompt and the image. 
And you see the image shows a small black refrigerator with two doors, blah, 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 right? Okay, so next ask a question. Do you see apples? Yes, there are apples in the bottom left bin. And there is. So next question, do you see broccoli? Yes, it does see broccoli and it's right there. So our next question, give me a list of things you see in a bullet list. All right, so uh, the chicken, box of soda, carton of eggs, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. apple, orange, tomato. Well, let's just say it finds most of the stuff in here. Some of them not really correct, but we do see a nice list. So now let's uh, ask it a next question. What kind of soda do you see? Three kinds of soda, Coca-Cola, Sprite, and Strippers. But we do see Coca-Cola, but not the others. Let's move on. By the way, in my experience, I have seen it performing worse than GPT 3.5. Forget about 4, even though Google claims all that. But I have not experienced it any better, so I don't know. It's up to you to find out. Now let's uh, ask the next question. Can you make a breakfast recipe with what you see? And it creates a huge breakfast recipe with all sorts of uh, ingredients, mostly made up. It's hallucinating like crazy, and that has been my experience. Also, I should mention that once every 10 efforts, the API would fail for no reason at all. So uh, I should you know, caution you that it is not a stable API either, but this is what we got. And next, we just say bye, and we exit out of the loop, and see ya. So. Let's go over what we just did one last time. We configured the model by bringing in an object from Google Generative AI and using this uh, API key, we configured it. Then we loaded up the image in here, and this is our image. And then we created our model with Gemini ProVision, and then created an infinite loop where we kept asking it question by passing prompt and image to the model by invoking it with model.generate content. And we kept displaying our response. And in the end, we typed by out of exit quit or by, and then exited out. And this is our conversation. With that, we conclude this video. Thanks for watching.